this House must declare an environment and climate emergency. We have no time to waste. We are living in a climate crisis that will spiral dangerously out of control unless we take rapid and dramatic action now. This is no longer about a distant future. We're talking about nothing less than the irreversible destruction of the environment within our lifetimes of members of this House. Young people know this. They have the most to lose. I was, like many members of this House on all sides, deeply moved a few weeks ago to see the streets outside this Parliament filled with colour and noise by children chanting, Our planet, our future. For someone of my generation, it was inspiring, but also humbling that children felt they had to leave school to teach us adults a lesson. The truth is, they are ahead of the politicians on this, the most important issue of our time. We are witnessing an unprecedented upsurge of climate activism, with groups like Extinction Rebellion forcing the politicians in this building to listen. For all the dismissive and defensive column inches the processors have provoked, they are a massive and, I believe, very necessary wake-up call. Today, we have the opportunity to say, we hear you. And um, we are now facing an existential crisis, the climate crisis and the ecological crisis, which have never been treated as a crisis before. They have been ignored for decades. And for way too long, the politicians and the people in power have gotten away with not doing anything at all to fight the climate crisis and the ecological crisis. But we will make sure that they will not get away with it any longer. at a crossroads. We must now decide which path we want to take. How do we want the future living conditions for all species to be like? We have gathered here today and on many other places around London and across the world too. We have gathered today because we have chosen which path we want to take and now we are waiting for the others to follow our example.